Hello, everyone. Um, hi, all my preciouses. Uh, somebody's got insomnia right now. Uh, so, I thought, what better way to spend the time not sleeping than um, by continuing the holy word of God. <clears throat> um, thank you so much for, but before I start, thank you so much first. Um, Kayla, I've been um, <laughs> irritating her, reading her the comments um, people are leaving about how funny she is. Um, and she's not irritated with you. She, she's irritated with me because she's, you know, she's 25. She's out, um, you know, at the Renaissance festival or, you know, doing stuff with her friends or her boyfriend and, um, annoying her, you know, calling her, Hey, everybody thinks you're really funny. <laughs> cause, cause I think it's great. She thinks it's great too, but she's like, Jesus Christ, mom leave me alone. Um, but she does, she does appreciate it. Um, she's kind of ribbing me a little bit that, um, she's going to take this over <coughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I will have her back. Um, we'll, we're going to do some stuff together. Um, she's actually a bit of a, um, not a bit. She's, uh, she's an artist and, um, she's she's good on the computer and in a net and I'm gonna have her help me sort of with some ideas that that we have been working on together um so that she can she can animate them for me she's she's very she's incredibly talented I'm proud of both my children um but my son even though he's close to you know uh pretend Kayla's age He's not, he's not really old enough to join in this hobby. He's, he hears Kayla and I, you know, not a whole lot, you know, or <laughs> what you don't tell me to do, I don't do it. Um, you know, cause we quote it all the fucking time. Um, so he's, he's aware of, of what the joke is. Um, he's aware that Lauren's a, a fucking creep, but, um, you know, he's, he's not old enough to read this, which I noted is ironic since, um, Kayla apparently wasn't too young to read this according to Lauren. But anyway, enough about that shit. I just, I wanted to convey my appreciation for, for everybody's kind words. Um, Kayla is the funniest fucking person I know. She really is. We have such a good time. We just go and people watch. It's it's a fucking blast. Sometimes I think there should just be a camera following her around. Um, <coughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm all by myself today. Um, this morning. Uh, so. You're just going to have to settle for me. So. Anyway. <laughs> it is uh, October 13th. 2019 we're going to continue with October 13th 2007 7:22 p.m. Hi my precious princess Rose I'm taking Bud out to go to the bathroom BRB I love you My cam is on for you I'm back precious Rose so he took um Bud maybe for a good 10 minute walk I guess that's all right I haven't had a dog in a very long time but I always imagined, and Bud's a big dog, I always imagined um, part of the responsibility of owning a dog, especially a big dog. Um, <laughs> Oscar says good morning. She's um, she's going to hog the spotlight now. Um, part of the responsibility of owning a big dog was, you know, taking it out for sufficient exercise. Uh, I would imagine being stuck in a small apartment all day. Poor Bud would be getting bored. Mm. My throat's really dry, sorry. But, <coughs> <coughs> God, I hope you all are enjoying listening to me. <coughs> Let me drink some water. <coughs> what else is new? Um. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck. I'm so... <laughs> trying to rip one Lauren here. God damn it. Um, you know, 
He's just a piece of shit. All right, where's my girl at 8.25 p.m.? 8.31, my cam is on for you, precious. Okay, I love you. I love you. Did you have fun shopping? Yep, good. What did you buy? Stuff. My son... <laughs> My son, that's his fucking answer. That kind of triggered me. Sorry. My, that's his fucking answer for everything right now. What'd you do in school today? Stuff. Uh, what'd you have for lunch today? Stuff. Um. Yeah, that's... Fuck you, Kayla. I wouldn't say fuck you to my son, ever. But I can say it to Kayla. Fuck you. Like, what kind of stuff? Lol. Hmm, let's see. A skirt, top... Shoes, jewelry, makeup, present for my boyfriend, um, bra, panties. Oh, clever, Kayla. What did you buy for a top? Holy, holy shit. He didn't even, uh, he didn't even bite on the present for my boyfriend first. He bought on, I thought he'd either go for the present or the bra and panties first. But he flipped it on me. What did you buy for a top? Fucking, you know what, Lauren? I don't know you as well as I thought I did. I thought I knew everything about you, precious. Surprise. Lol. What did you buy for a present from for your boyfriend? Lol. No, no, I don't think so. Surprise. I love you. I love you. So your boyfriend's present. Can he wear it on your on his <laughs> I'm just, he's so stupid. She's 13, dumbass. Can he wear it on his hand, wrist, or neck? Lol. Yeah, she bought you. She bought you a $5,000 ring. You stupid fucker. Granted, Lauren doesn't know what good good jewelry is. He bought her a five dollar bracelet. <clears throat> he bought apparently he bought I guess it was Winnie a a wedding set from Walmart. Um that was Cubic Zirconia. And no no offense. Uh, this the second the second time I got married. Um <laughs> We didn't, we did it at the last minute and we got our wedding bands at Walmart for like $10 for the, the ceremony. But, um, you know, later we got real jewelry, but I'm really ripping on Lauren about that because he had made some statements about how, um, (laughs) you know, he was, he, he wasn't going to buy cubic zirconia or some shit. I, I can't remember where I just, I recall him. Um, I think it was saying that, you know, cause Emma says, you know, she works her magic and she said some shit to him like, yeah, you can, you can buy her a nice cubic zirconia or, and Lauren says, no, uh, I, I don't remember it. I shouldn't have even brought it up because I can't quote it specifically forgive me but I just thought it was really funny um that yet again you know once again (laughs) Lauren Lauren talks about these things that he can't afford and and can't produce um so I don't know if he thought you know she was going to go to Claire's boutique do those even exist anymore um, and buy him like a necklace or something. I don't know. He's so, so greedy and selfish though. Can he wear it on his hand, wrist or neck? I bought you a Boston cap. Fucking fucko. If this video isn't funny, it's because it's one fifteen in the morning. I'm probably still have to sleep. Uh, okay, I'll stop trying to guess, lol. Good, because I ain't telling. Stubborn you are, lol. That's like the... It's like Lauren Yoda. Stubborn you are. 
I can't do Yoda. I'm not even going to try. But um, at least not at 1.15 a.m. <clears throat> Somebody draw Lauren Yoda. Thank you. Um, Kayla Princess. Yep. What color top did you buy? Okay, I'll tell you the color. White. Cool. Can I see through it? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? She bought... She bought you a see-through shirt at Gap Kids. You fuck. <laughs> He's so goddamn stupid. Can I see through it? <laughs> yeah, it just has the nipples cut out. <laughs> you can't see this, the shirt, but where the nipples are, there's holes in the shirt. <laughs> stupid fuck. Um, kind of. Really? Hope you like it. I know I'll like it because you'll be wearing it, Rose. What color panties did you buy? And bra. White. Are your parents going out tonight? I don't know. They said they might go out later. I hope they do. I want to hear my girl's voice. I miss it. What are you wearing right now? My jeans and shirt. Wish I could see you right now. I had to open the window. It's hot in here. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Of all the tedious, boring shit, <clears throat> that's really saying something. Like, I know I'm repeating myself, but <laughs> I had to open the window. It's hot in here. Great. Wow. Stop the presses. Um, Tell me about your sleepover at Haley's. Well, we had a blast. We ate lots of junk food and did each other's hair and put on makeup. We stayed up really late talking. It was great. Good. I'm happy you had fun, Rose. No, you're not. Are you happy I told you to go? Oh, what a great guy you are, Lauren. If I recall correctly... I mean, you acquiesced, but I think she said she was going, so it wasn't like you gave her fucking permission. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty certain Kayla was like, well, I'm going out anyway. Yeah, I am. Good. Me too. I knew you'd have fun if you went, and that would that it would be better than staying home. BRB, coffee. Okay, back. Was you watching? Yeah. You mean... You were looking at me... No, sorry. You mean you were looking at my naked butt? <laughs> You're looking at my naked butt? <laughs> Fuck. I can't breathe. Oh my God, I can't breathe. You're looking at my naked butt. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> of all the stupid, I'm going to start quoting that one. That one's, you mean you were looking at my naked butt? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the neighbors are knocking on my door and I'm not answering it. Lol, pisses me off when they bug me now. Lol, especially when I'm talking to you. Hold on a second, I, I'm like getting dizzy. <laughs> I gotta catch my breath. Oh, I'm thinking I might have to close the windows because they're so irritating. Lol, <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's a twist. He just opened the windows. Now he might have to close them. Will we get a chance to see his naked butt again? Will they come to the window? They better not. I'll be really pissed. <laughs> He's... Oh, oh, hold it. Stop. 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 How fucking great. The neighbor's just looking in the window. And Lauren's sitting naked and jacking off. 
Oh, he's probably not jacking off, but she you know. Who knows? He's always touching himself with his cock fingers. And and on the screen is is that picture of Kayla in her little pink dress. And they're just like, what the fuck? Hello, police? Oh my god. Oh, they just, I just have this vision of them just looking in the window and their faces just, their mouths open. <laughs> We'd call the police. No, they'd have to knock on the door and borrow Lauren's phone to call the police. Oh my God. This is so stupid. I hope I'm not, I hope I'm not the only one laughing at this. Just a vision of that. Oh, oh, they'd have to, they'd have to borrow Lauren's phone. All right. I'm sorry. Let's continue. <clears throat> they better not. They better not. I'll be, I'll be really pissed. That would be funny. Yeah, it would. <laughs> oh, I love you, my precious princess. Rose. My blinds are closed, so they wouldn't be able to see me. Lol. I wish I could have you here with me right now. Here, H-E-A-R. <laughs> me too. How nervous are you about next weekend, lol? Kind of getting nervous now. I gotta make sure I look really good. Oh, wow. Fiery. Spicy Kayla. You look really beautiful, even when you first wake up, precious. Rose, um, how do you know? Lauren, how do you know? So it's just another stupid Hallmark thing that Lauren learned. He went to the um, Hallmark store with a notepad and read the cards and wrote himself some notes. <laughs> stupid fucker. Oh, that's sweet. But you haven't seen me when I wake up yet. See? Kayla, Kayla's calling you on your bullshit. I know, but I know that being beautiful comes only one way. Either you're born with it or you're not. And you were definitely born with it. Oh, he learned it from commercials. Hold on a second. Water. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. <clears throat> when you see me not looking forward... It's because I bought some cigarette tubes, cig tobacco, and a cig roller, so I can make my own cigs. It's a lot cheaper, lol. Learn by stupid as shit. I had an uncle. I have family. Oh, I have family in Oklahoma. Um, I do not live in Oklahoma. Um... But I have some family in Oklahoma, and I had, a, I had an uncle one time. My aunt and uncle came down and visited, and my uncle Daryl, my uncle Daryl was such a hillbilly. He would walk around. He would walk around in um, overalls and no shirt. And I remember, I bring him up because one of the things he brought with him was a cigarette roller. And he would just sit on our porch, rolling cigarettes all morning, rolling his cigarettes for the day. So when Lauren talks about that, I just see, I just see Uncle Daryl rolling his fucking cigarettes. <laughs> Lauren couldn't afford a light, <clears throat> but he bought a cigarette roller. I don't know how expensive those are, but anyway, hmm, never heard of that. See? Okay. Is that cool or what, lol? Yeah, Lauren knows what the kids are into. I'll say that. Uh, if I recall correctly, in 94, kids were really big into rolling their own cigarettes. Yeah, I guess, lol. Not 94. Fuck, I fucked that up. 2007. I'm thinking... Asshole. In 2007, let's try again. You know, the kids really, Lauren really knows what the kids think is cool. You got the fucking joke. Don't complain. I don't need fucking comments about how stupid this is either. 
Is that cool or what? Yeah, I guess, lol. You shouldn't smoke. It's bad for you. I told you. Yeah, really, Lauren. I don't think Kayla thinks it's really cool because you told her you were going to quit. No, it isn't. I was only kidding. It actually sucks because I don't like making them, but they are cheaper. Yeah, it's just another thing that Lauren didn't want to do. He does, He was only kidding about it being cool, and he really is going to quit. But in the meantime, it's cheaper. He bought all the equipment to make them, even though he's going to quit. I know I need to quit smoking, Precious, and I will when I'm ready to. I promise, okay? Um, That's another thing Lauren didn't think about. Um, I occasionally smoke. <laughs> I know it's a disgusting habit. I am aware that when I do smoke afterwards, I smell disgusting um, and require a remedy. <laughs> but Lauren is going to bring this little girl back to his dirty, gross bud hair covered apartment smell smelling like cigarettes because he's we've seen a picture of that fucking ashtray overflowing so he's gonna pick her up and she's gonna stay in that disgusting apartment and her clothes are gonna smell like cigarettes and let's hope her mom doesn't wash her clothes I mean just the shit he doesn't think about. It, it's obvious, but some, some of the things are so... The fact that he thought he would get away with any of this shit at all for any period of time is so ridiculous. I know I need to quit smoking, Precious, and I will when I'm ready to. I promise, okay? He still hasn't done it. He's not smoking right now, obviously, because he's being forced. But guaranteed, the minute he gets out, the first thing he's going to do is stop and get a pack of cigarettes. So when I do quit, I'm going to need something to do because I won't be smoking. So can I lick your clits for something to do? Lol. He's so, so gross. This gross tongue. Ugh. Is that a yes? Oh, okay, yes. I can't wait for another six days to go by. B-U-I. Bye. Oh, he corrected himself. Good job. Me too. I'm really excited. <laughs> she, I bet she is. Me too. Are you ready for me and my penis? Yep. We're both ready for you and your vagina too. I can't wait to hold you and kiss you and get in the bubble bath with you. Yay, the bubble bath. You got any bubble bath? I took a bath the other day just so I could see how much room we'd have being in there together. And I guarantee he really did. And I and I really do think it correlates with the leak with him fucking up the tub. No, but I'll get some. What kind do you want me to get? Kids love Mr. Bubble, Lauren. <clears throat> hmm. Let's see. I don't know. You pick something and surprise me. Okay. Something that smells really good. Are we going to have a lot of bubbles in the bath with us? Or just a little bit? Lots. Okay. Can I put some on your nose? Lol. On my nose? Yup. Oh. My On my nose? Yeah. Okay. Can I put some on top of your head? I guess. Okay. Can I put some on your nipples? <laughs> this is so stupid. Lauren's, Lauren's sexy talk is so fucking stupid and weird. Like his... I know we... Almost everyone has engaged in some sort of sexy talk with a loved one. I certainly wouldn't want that to be broadcasted. And the things we say when we're in that state aren't necessarily, you know, <laughs> Shakespeare. 
but can I put some on your nipples? <laughs> it's just so fucking dumb. We're going to have a lot of fun, huh? <laughs> yep. I am so anxious. It's not even funny. Lol. Then why the lol if it's not funny? That's all I'm going to be thinking about this week. Yeah, me too. Good. Are you going to be able to concentrate on your schoolwork? Yeah, but it's going to be hard. Make sure you do good, though. I don't want you to get in trouble before I get there. Okay, I will. I know you're going to have a hard time concentrating on Friday. I will, too. Yep. Are you excited to touch my penis? <laughs> yeah. Are you? Are you? I can't. Are you? All right, come on. <sighs> Breathe. All right. Are you excited to suck on it? Yeah. I swear to Christ. If a man ever said, are you? Kelly, are you excited to suck on my penis? I'd be like, I'm excited for you to leave. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> Are you excited for me to touch your vagina? Yeah. Are you excited to marry me? Yay, yes. Are you? Did you think I was going to ask you another question about our private areas? Hell yeah. Probably. Lol. I wish your parents would go out. I want to hear your voice. I know. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're in the family room. Let me go peek and see. BR BRB. Okay. They're watching TV. They saw me. They wanted to know if I wanted to come watch with them. I said, no, I'm watching it in my room. Lol. You should have grabbed the phone while you were out there. Yeah, but they saw me. Turn your TV on just in case they come in. Oh, clever, clever, Lauren. Oh, yeah. BRB. Coffee. Jesse's on the phone. Be right back. Okay. I miss my girl. I love you. And she's only been gone a couple minutes. Like, fuck you, Lauren. She can't even talk to her friends. I love you. I love you. What did Jesse want? Just to talk. Oh. Did you bring the phone in your room with you? And I knew that was going to be a mistake for her to say somebody was on the phone. Single fucking one track mind. Did you bring the phone in your room with you? I don't know why he's so anxious to talk to her on the phone. I just, unless he just wants to fap, I don't know. I don't understand what, what the big deal is. I really don't. Um, did you bring the phone in your room with you? No. Mom yelled at me that she was on the phone. Oh, I know. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. I'm scared to call when they're here anyways. I know. That's why I'm hoping they'll go out. But if they don't, then just tell them you want to call Jesse. Then you can call me instead and they won't know any different. Okay. Yeah, might work. What if they come in and hear me? It will and won't stay on long. They won't because we won't stay on long. Oh, I asked them if I could have a lock on my bedroom door. What did they say? Why? Lol. I said because I want my privacy. My mom said, well, Brad, you know Kayla's getting older now. Girls need their privacy. Daddy said, hmm, lol, well, you're probably right. He said, I don't know how young girls are, but if you say so, lol, lol. Then Mama winked at me, lol. So he said, okay, Kayla, I will have someone come and put it on next week. I told you it would work, huh? Yeah, it did. I love you, Rose. I love you. And Lauren sullies a nice 
warm family moment. Uh, seriously. <clears throat> I read that and I thought, what a, a cute little story of Kayla asking her mom, can I have a lock on my door? And her mom, you know, mom giving her a little wink, like, you know, Brad, Kayla's growing up and, you know, a little sister solidarity. And it was a cute little story. And here comes Lowell, here comes Lowell, Lorne, here comes, here comes Lorne. Good, now you can lock your door and see my penis all you want. He's so fucking just, he desecrates everything he fucking comes into contact with. He really does. Just, he's just a disgusting fucking human being. Hang on. Gonna make me a cig. Okay. Okay. Back. Jeez, my tummy hurts. Why does your tummy hurt? Because you make me sick, Lauren. Because you fucking make me sick. I don't know. I'm sorry, my precious princess, Rose. I wish I could rub it. Aw, I wish you could, too. I'll be able to in six more days. Does your tummy hurt because of being nervous? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay, good. What did you have to eat today? Um, let's see, pizza. Then we had hot dogs. Then we had hamburger and fries at McDonald's. And then later we had ice cream. No wonder your tummy hurts, precious. Lol. What? Shopping makes you hungry. Yeah, I'd say. Lol. Yeah, I guess I did eat too much, huh? <sighs> He's such a fucking creep. If he ever said or says, I lost track of how old she is. Well, you're still growing, too, so your metabolism is still really high, so you burn off a lot of energy. Yeah, better not get fat, Kayla. Better not get older, either. Yeah, if I keep eating like that, I'll be growing the wrong way. I don't think you will. I think your metabolism is too high to let you grow the wrong way. I hope so. <sighs> The only time you'll be growing out is when you're 18 and I get you pregnant. He's such a creep. I'm anxious for that day to come, too. Yeah, we'll be fun. Yeah, it's fun, Kayla. It's really fun. Yes, it will. And you'll be living with me. In Nashville? Yup. I'll miss Daddy and Mama. You'll only be about an hour away, precious. You'll be able to drive there and see them every day if you want to, lol. And yep, in her red BMW that you're going to buy her with the proceeds from your country album sales. Yep. You know what? And <laughs> Kayla's mom will be like, please, Kayla, come home. He's a creep. I know you think you love him, but he's it's weird. He's gross. He he asked me if I was anxious to see his penis. Kayla. Kayla! <sighs> I can't wait till I can drive. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, it is. And then you can tell your parents. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Then you can tell your parents you're going to the mall or something and come down and be with me instead. Hey, that's a cool idea. You're smart. Yeah, you're beautiful and smart and my precious princess. And I love you, Rose. I love you. God, I want you here with me, Reno. I can't wait to play with your hair. I told you that I love playing with long hair, right? Yeah, I remember. If you find Kayla says, well, I have long hair, but it's, it's all in my crotch. Lauren <laughs> never talks to her again. <sighs> Count your hairs. What are you thinking about right now, precious? Why bud looking at the door? Because the idiots are knocking on it again. Yeah, the idiots. He's barking and growling. I'm tempted to let him bite them. Really? I wouldn't do that, though. 
Then I'd have to pay a fine for it. Lol. So he's, he makes a joke, I guess. It's hard to tell what's really a joke because every fucking sentence is ended with lol. Um, and I'm trying not to read them all, but sometimes you have to, to get in the, get, you know, get, get the feeling of, of his fucking idiocy. Um, but Lauren's talking about, I'm tempted to let him bite them, but the, the reason he won't allow Bud to do that is not because, first of all, um, I don't know what the laws are, but I would be concerned about my animal injuring a person. Um, I wouldn't want an animal that would harm another person. I would be concerned about that animal, and I would certainly be concerned about the people that my animal bit. I wouldn't be, uh, my main concern certainly wouldn't be a fine that I would have to pay. You're a real fucking blight on humanity, Lauren. You're, you're like a, I can't think of the word for it, like a mutant dwarf gnome goblin creep I, it's just nothing is strong enough um just he's such a fucking piece of garbage but is still growling a little bet they wouldn't bother you again no they wouldn't lol tell me what you're thinking about precious Getting married. Okay. Tell me what you're thinking about it. While I get another cup of coffee. Okay. I have to get. I have to have a big wedding. Let's see. I want Jesse and Haley and Maria in it. And I want them to wear pink dresses. It's going. It's going to be so pretty. You're going to have whatever you want to have for a wedding precious. I promise. I wish she would have asked him and. And how do you plan to pay for this? Well, Lauren probably figured that um, Kayla's parents will pay for it. So, um, you know, in the tradition of the bride's, the bride's parents put the bill. <laughs> um, he, I guess he, I guess he doesn't have to, he can tell her she can have whatever she wants then. I love you. I love you. Are you anxious to sleep naked with me? Yeah. How are you going to be laying with me? All right, it's not enough. It's not enough like the, you know, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts right now? What are you going to be wearing? Now it's, it, describe to me how you're going to be laying with me. In what position? I don't know. On your tummy, remember? Oh, that's right. Lauren's has, Lauren tells her how she's to sleep too. Thank God, thank God, thank God this fool was stopped because he was like on full on rape mode. I mean, I'm not even trying to make a joke. <clears throat> he had prog progressed, obviously, to the point where he had talked to other girls before, but now he had progressed to the point where he was finally ready to act on it. Um, if it had been a, a real girl, it that thought is just devastating to me. Just, she'd still, I, I said it before, she'd still be locked in some filthy apartment, being told how to sleep, not being allowed to talk to her family. With one leg over one of my legs, where is one of your hands going to be all night? On your penis. Yep, see? She's perfectly brainwashed now. On your penis. Are you happy about that? Yeah. What color tux am I going to be wearing at our wedding? <laughs> I imagine like Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Lauren is like Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> He's so classy. <laughs> he'd have... He'd have a salmon colored tank top tux fuck <laughs> he, he, he was such 
great taste, Lauren. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. What do you think? Hmm, I think white. Okay, how long of a wedding dress do you want to have? BRB, okay. You are so beautiful, my precious princess, Rose. Okay, I'm back. What did you have to do? Go to the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, and my tummy still hurts. Uh, Caleb Price to poop. Lauren, Lauren would like to hear about that, I bet. I think Lauren's got like a poop fetish. He's a fecal filiac. I'm sorry, precious. Rose. I'll be okay. You'd feel a lot better if I could rub it, though. Yeah. I wish I could renail. My hand might slip, though, and slide down and start rubbing your vagina, lo though, lol. So, so much for making her feel better. Yeah, it probably would. Would you like that just as much? Lol. Yeah. I'm in love with you, Kayla Marie Armstrong, Rose. I love you. Do you like when I put my last name my last name at the end of your name? Yeah. I've got a little headache, precious. Yeah, me too. Me too, Lauren. Oh, sorry. We're both messed up tonight. Huh? Well, you got it half right. Well, yeah. All we need is each other, though. Oh, that's so sweet. My Hold on. Please, I gotta gather myself. My butt itches. Wanna come scratch it for me? What? Scratch your butt? Yeah, my butt cheek itched. Lol. Do you think I have a cute butt, precious? <laughs> Do you wanna touch my butt? <laughs> ah! Oh, Oscar, I'm sorry. I scared her. Do you, you want to touch my butt? It's like, hey, I'm going to touch your butt. <laughs> Fucking stupid. If you read this, like, independent of any other information about Lauren and I said, now, how old do you think this person is? You would say, um, 12. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't stop. The cats are being stupid again. Jesus. Everybody's wound up and it's 1.48 in the morning. <sighs> Do you want to touch my butt? Yeah. Can I touch your butt? Yeah. Can I touch anything I want to touch on you? Yeah. Can you learn how to make my mom's chicken pie when we get married? Lol. Your mom's. I'm not trying to hate on mom. But that chicken pie looked and sounded so gross. Mainly because of that um, water from the vegetables and the, like, I'm not, I'm comfortable. I'm not rich. I do all right. I've eaten my share of pot pies and ramen, <laughs> you know, hot dogs and beans, beanie weenies. Um, and I, you know, growing up, my, I was raised by mall. Um, I was not raised, you know, until I was a little bit older, my mom remarried. It was just me and my mom. And then, you know, later my mom remarried, but um, when I was much younger and it was just my mother and I, my mother was a master of making cheap meals. And I imagine, and she just had one kid, you know, until my sister was born later. But Mama Gwen had to feed, what, six monsters? <laughs> um, so she probably had to stretch a dollar, I'm sure. But that chicken pie sounds so freaking gross. I I am not even going to really attempt to make it. I thought about trying to make it um, for Lauren, but I was like, I don't even want to waste 
money and time doing it. Um, and I like good chicken pot pot pie, um, but it just it just sounds gross. If you think otherwise, feel feel free to tell me so, but I, I'm I'm not willing to risk it. Um, well, I can try. Okay. Is it hard to make? Nope. You're not expecting some of these questions that I'm popping it out at you, though. Huh? No, because they don't involve your penis. I love doing that sometimes. It's funny. It's the first time you've ever done it. It's the first time you've ever asked questions that didn't involve your penis or your butt but you're sprinkling those in there as well. Yep, here we go. Don't forget that you have to leave a pair of your panties here with me. Okay, I'll bring an extra one for you to keep. Okay. Uh, but you have to put them on before I take you back, though. I mean, put them on, then take them right back off. That way, I can have your smell on them. Ugh. I just had a vision of Lauren like sniffing this little girl's panties and like jacking off. Ugh. Do you wear perfume? Yeah. What does it smell like? <laughs> it like perfume. Well, it has notes of gardenia and she's 13, asshole. It... BR BRB, I gotta go potty again. Okay, back. Are you all right, precious? Yeah. Are you tired? A little. Okay. Go get the phone so you can call me, okay? Remember that you're telling them that you want to call Jesse, okay? <laughs> he just is is relentless. They wouldn't let you. Daddy's being mean. What did he say? He said it's late, and I was with her all day, and it can wait till tomorrow. I hate him sometimes. Okay, so we'll just wait until tomorrow. Hopefully they'll go someplace tomorrow. If not, then just tell them you want to call Jesse. <laughs> but don't go all day without coming on here tomorrow during the day, okay? I'm going to be missing you a lot. Me too. Then, when you come on here, that's when you'll be able to call me. Sometimes he don't care, and then sometimes he is so stupid about it. He has mood swings. Everybody does, precious. We can deal with it, though, Rose. <laughs> so, Lauren's talking shit about <coughs> Dr. Moore having mood swings. King, Lauren, king of fucking mood swings crying one second. Well, that's calculated, though. He treats me like a baby sometimes. BRB. Coffee. Yeah, who cares about your problems, Kayla? I have to go get coffee. I'm 13. I'm not a little kid or something. Jeez. I just had a thought, precious. What? When you get mad, just think about us being in the bubble bath together. <laughs> So she'll go from mad to ill. Oh, yeah. That calmed you right down, huh? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> I love the huh. That calmed you right down, huh? Yeah. What are you thinking about now, precious? Bubble bath. With who? With you. And what are we wearing? Um, bathing suits. What do you, what do you fuck do you wear in a bath, stupid? Um, in a bath, nothing. Does the thought of wearing nothing in the bubble bath with me help you com calm down at all and start thinking good thoughts? Yeah. What size panties do you wear? Small? Like child size? Like tiny? Oh, I didn't know if they had sizes like boys do or not. <laughs> like three, I think. Three is so small. Lauren, you are a fucking creep. <clears throat> Do 
So you have a nice small size three beautiful butt then. Like that doesn't deter him one fucking bit. If she said toddler two, he would be so fucking excited. I can't wait to put my hands on your beautiful butt. Your beautiful naked butt. God, be right back. Okay, back. What did they want? Nothing. Being dumb. Told me I should go to bed. I've had a big day. Jeez. It's only ten. Yeah, I know. But you are tired, you said. Do you want to go to bed? Yeah, I am kind of tired. Okay. What time do you want to come on here tomorrow during the day? You're not doing anything tomorrow, Ree. I don't think. Okay. What time during the day do you want to come on here? Like, now she's got to schedule what time she's... Does she have to set her fucking alarm, Lauren? Like, 7.30 so she can get online with you? I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got your pickup of you at Haley's the other night. You're so beautiful, precious. And I'm so lucky. It's the picture of her at Haley's, the one where she has her hair in the funny, um, like the, the pigtails and they, because if that's the picture, that's so gross. She looks like she's nine or 10 in that picture. You're so fucking disgusting, Lauren. I'm glad you're in jail right now. What time do you think you'll wake up tomorrow? Precious? Precious? Precious. <laughs> was she? I'm sorry. I, I thought about this. Somebody left a comment about Silence of the Lambs. Precious? Was she a great big fat person? <laughs> I love that. I love that fucking dude on that movie. Precious? Precious? Oh, fuck. I'm not making a lot of sense. It's, like, really early in the morning. Um. I love you. I love you. What time do you think you'll wake up tomorrow? I don't know. When I get up. Oh, you smartass, Kayla. Wants to call me at one? I know you'll be up by then. Okay? If, if they're not here... Even if they are there, just tell them you want to call Jesse. But come on the computer first, okay? Okay, I will. God. Promise. Promise. Do you want to go to bed now, precious? Yeah. Okay. You don't care, do you? Want to see it before you go to bed? No, I don't. I know you've had a long day, and I know you're tired. Rose. Yeah. Was that a long enough look? Yeah. Love you. What were you thinking about when you were looking at it? I don't know. Okay. Go to bed, precious. I'll talk to you tomorrow and dream about us in the bubble bath. Okay? Rose. I love you, my precious princess. Rose. Delete your archives, too. Okay, I'm done. Okay. I love you, my precious princess, Rose. Love you lots. I miss you already, too. Good night, precious. Me, too. That's it for today. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, sweetheart. <laughs>